question of the week. What anime are you watching? Hello, Relius Knights, and welcome to another Drawing Talk. I'm JJ, and this is where I talk about art, games, and anything else that catches our interest or inspires. My birthday was this weekend, but I'm getting to the point where I really don't want to celebrate anymore. It was a good birthday, but it's just getting older kind of sucks, but it happens, so yes. In other news, I have an animation gig. I'm working with Eye of Soul on a new portion for the end of her videos. She reviews animation, and her web show is really entertaining. Please check out her work and give her a watch and a follow. I'll have more on this in the coming months. Also, Frederator is having another network-wide collaboration. My last collab, which was last Halloween, went very, very well. I'll have more information on this in the coming months as well. You may have noticed there wasn't a speed drawing last week. That's because I've started sketching a lot more in my sketchbook. It's been almost half a year since I've drawn anything by hand, and it's really nice to finally get back to some traditional work. I plan to finish these in upcoming speed drawings. For today's art reference, you should look up the exceptionally beautiful Lacey Chabert. She's an actress known for playing Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls, Penny in Lost in Space, Eliza in The Wild Thornberries, and Claudia in Party of Five. Her voice is freaking adorable. Jen's suggestion for today's art reference is Misha Collins. As most of you already know, Misha plays the heavenly angel Castiel in the oh-so-popular Supernatural TV series. He's 41, and he looks absolutely magnificent. Check out that hotness and let your creativity flow. The artist of the day is Jason Chan. He is one of the most talented illustrators I know of. Jason is the first artist that I started looking at that actually made me want to improve on what I do. I used to draw faceless stick figures, but Mr. Chan inspired me to push beyond that into something that was more tangible. And for that, aside from being awesome, is why he is the artist of the day. So, question of the week. What anime are you watching? I thought this would be a fun question considering a lot of our personal work has been inspired by Eastern animation. Also, we just recently finished watching Inuyasha Final Act at long last. And there's an emptiness inside that I can't really describe. Happens when I finish a good book, a TV series ends, or I watch the end credits in a video game. And the ending to Inuyasha after all these years was pretty satisfying. First up on our list is Myriad Colors Phantom World. It's a newer anime that came out in January of this year. So there aren't too many episodes available, but what's out is still pretty entertaining. Episode 1 was amazing and... The following episodes so far have been kind of filler, or just kind of slow, but I'm hoping it picks up soon. Next up is Kill a Kill. I started watching this anime a while back, and the first episode blew me away. I love the animation and the camera work. It's unlike anything I've ever seen, so I look forward to seeing how it ends. Right now, we're on episode 14 or 15. Punchline is another anime that came out recently-ish on April 9th, 2015. I've only seen the first episode so far, but it was entertaining enough for me to want to sit through and finish, so I just need to find the time to binge watch the entire series. So after finishing Inuyasha Final Act, I decided to look up Rumiko Takahashi's work to see if there was anything of hers that I haven't watched yet, and an interesting and surprisingly new anime popped up called Rine. We watched episode 1 and so far it's pretty interesting. The style is oh so familiar and it has that strange charm that I've come to love in all of Miss Takahashi's work. And it looks like it's going to be good. Jen is really into the Cute Earth Defense Club anime. She's a huge fan of Sailor Moon and absolutely adores Cute Earth Defense. She recommends it to anyone that loves transformation animes like Sailor Moon. Just replace the young women with men and you've got Cute Earth Defense Club. And before we wrap this up, I will leave you with something cool. This week's something cool is the Chameleon Color Marker Pen. It's a nifty little marker that can create gradients of color without the need to overlay various other colors. For an artist, this is freaking amazing. This blew my mind the first time I saw it. Visit the YouTube page for more information. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and follow us if you'd like to stay up to date with what we do. There will be links in the description box below of everything I've talked about. I'm JJ, and I will be back with another Drawing Talk. Stay amazing. You rock. Bye.